and welcome to Bass Mallet's Director's Print Suite Video Guide. My name is Kai, and today I will be showing you how to print Reflections of Life front and back church bulletins. To start off, we'll select our product on the left-hand side, and underneath our layout option, we'll make sure that Print Front is selected. Next, we'll go into the Print Info button to view the dimensions needed to print this product. For more visual assistance, take a look at the tutorials listed on the left-hand side. Once you're finished, click OK, and we'll select Print to generate our PDF file. If you haven't set your computer to do this automatically, please see our how-to video on the process. Once our PDF has generated, we'll once review both the front and back of the document to be sure that everything has uploaded correctly. Once you're satisfied with the results, go to File, Print, and we'll begin changing our printer settings. Starting from the top, we'll select the desired printer. Here, we'll change the number of copies we'd like to print, and we'll make sure that the following options have been selected All pages, Actual size, Choose paper source by PDF page size, print on both sides of the paper, and we're going to flip on the short edge because it is a landscape template. On the right hand side, we'll want to make sure that the document size and page size match in width and height. Next, we'll go into the advanced properties and make a few changes at the bottom. Our document size and orientation will remain the same. We'll change our ink to color. And on the right hand side, we have the option to choose our input tray. Today, I will be using the bypass tray. Last but not least, we have our paper type, and this will always be thick one to ensure that the ink stays on the paper. At this point, you can register your current settings by naming your one click preset here and clicking OK. Once you've done this, an icon will appear above, and by clicking on this preset on future cases, the below settings will import in. Once you're finished, click OK, and we'll be ready to print. For more helpful tips, please stay tuned for more of our how-to videos.